Hello again. Uh, right, today we're going to do a bargain version of um, uh, chow mein. We're going to be using again the cooking bacon from Lidl's at one forty nine a packet. This is about a quarter of a packet. What I've done is I've popped it in war cold water, brought it to the boil, drained it, and then I've chopped it into little pieces. That's going to take out some of the excess salt. Some bacon is salt than the others. I got some. Cheap spaghetti, not Chinese noodles, but Lidl's um, spaghetti. I've three quarter cooked it, so it's not quite cooked. It's um, You can taste a bit of raw in the middle. I've just coated it in a little oil. <clears throat> so that's ready. If you fully cook it and then you stir fry it, it's going to go mushy and awful. A really good pile of um, sliced onions. These are your vitamins and whatever, your roughage and complex sugars got a tiny bit of chopped ginger <clears throat> tiny bit of uh, chopped garlic we got the usual um, dark soy sauce light soy sauce and sesame oil now optional I'm going to be adding a teaspoon of oyster sauce and a teaspoon of sriracha sauce now these look expensive but this oyster sauce is going to last you a year or so, even if you're eating Chinese every day. Um, so, but you don't have to put those in. If you don't like spicy, don't put sriracha. And, you know, if you can't afford that, find it doesn't matter. It just adds a little bit more depth of flavor. It's made from oysters and it's it's got a slight sort of salty, unami flavor to it. So that's all we need. We'll get cooking. Okay, time to cook. Quick word about a wok. Um, wok's worth getting. Don't buy a modern, uh, non-stick expensive one. I bought this one in the early 90s. Um, I've had it, obviously, however many years that is. Um, it's just a, a cast iron or um, mild steel or whatever they call it. But it lasts for years and years. So, some oil, nice and hot. Put in your bits of bacon, start getting a bit of colour to them. This is all cooked quite quickly. So. Just going to fry this for a second. Okay, so that's nice and sizzly now. We're going to add in the garlic and ginger and the onion. If you can, try and put the ginger in. Don't avoid it. It's really good for you. So is the garlic good for the blood, good for the cold, all of that. So now we want to see if we can get a bit of burning going on. Just a little bit of blackness on the oven, onions. Not too much. But just start it off. And a wee bit of pepper. I'm not going to add any salt. Not yet, because the pasta was cooked in salted water. We're going to use soy sauce, the bacon's got salt. So I think we should be fine for it. We'll let that colour a bit now. Okay, we're starting to get a bit of colour on the edges of the onion. This is what gives it that sort of smoky flavour you get from the Chinese. So you can see here, nice and black. Now we're going to add the spaghetti. And again, we want the spaghetti to colour up a little bit. So, if you're using a normal frying pan, this may take a little time. Um, if you're using a big old wok like this, it shouldn't take too long. Um, so we're just stirring it up. Let it sit, let it take a bit of colour. And cook out. So we leave it for a couple of minutes. There you go, these are loosening up nicely now. They're getting a bit of colour, nice and fluffy. So we're going to start adding the seasoning. So first we're going to go in with about a teaspoon of the oyster sauce. Again, as I did say, this is totally optional. So stir that in, try and get everything coated with it. You don't want to add all the liquid at once. 
because you'll end up with a mucky mess. So that's that. We're going to add some sriracha. I'm using a green sriracha. Use whatever you want. You don't have to use sriracha, but I do like my food spicy. You can just use pepper, which will give you a nice heat as well, like a nice hazy heat. So again, that's dried out a little bit. Now we're going to go in with the real salt of it, which is the light soy sauce. So we're going to put one and a half tablespoons of light soy sauce. Get that stirring through. Now it's beginning to smell like a Chinese dish. I've said use spaghetti because it's easier to use and it's cheaper than the Chinese noodles. Okay now, we're going to go in with three tablespoons of dark soya. This gives you your colour and depth of flavour. Give that stir. And then finally, we're going to add a tablespoon of the sesame oil, which is just a seasoning. It just makes it really taste like a Chinese takeaway. Give that a stir up. I didn't see that because of the steam, but there you go. That's your um, cheap and cheerful Chinese chow mein. I've used bacon. You can use some cooked chicken or ham or, you know, anything you like, what you've got on there. <clears throat> you can even get away with no meat at all. Um, it, it stands alone flavour-wise. Equally, you can put a couple of prawns in there. Uh, whatever you can afford at the time. Try it, enjoy it.